Hello friends, welcome back to my exam coaching classes once again. So first of all, thank you so much for watching my videos and thank you so much for your support. So today we are going to learn a new topic and the topic is certs and indices. Students, I just want to tell you about the new app we have launched, Trace the Learning app. Kindly download the app from Google Play Store and the link is also given in the description. You can download from the description also. In this app, you will get all the PDF notes, video classes, study materials, complete study materials, sample papers, then mock test series. All these are absolutely free. So download the app today and take your preparations to the next level. Okay. So let us go to this particular topic, certs and indices. So let us start with some of the basic questions. Then we will go to the questions which are important questions, advanced questions with the difficulty level will increase. Okay. So let me start with some of the uh, basic questions. The first question is 9 plus 2 root 18 is equal to what? A root under a root. 9 plus 2 root 18. 9 plus 2 root 18 is equal to what? So here we have five options are also given. The options are 3 plus root 6, 6 minus root 3, 6 plus root 3, root 6 plus root 3, and none of this. Five options are also given to you. We have to solve 9 plus 2 root 18 is equal to what? So understand this very, very clearly. Once I explain this, then this type of questions will be very easy for you. Next time when you see this type of question, directly you can write the answer. There's a shortcut method for solving this type of question. So understand what is the shortcut method for the solving this type of question. So first of all, see, make sure that this number is 2. Step number 1, make sure that this number is 2. So step number one is what? Step number one is we have to make sure that the number is two. Check the question. Understand the concept very clearly. If the number is not two, you have to make it two. If the number given is not two, you have to make it two. Then only you can use this shortcut method. So what is the shortcut method here? First, make sure that the given number here is two. That is number one step. After that, this 18, this number 18, we have to divide in two parts. What are the factors of 18? We can write 1 18s are 18. We can write 2 9s are 18. We can write 3 6 are 18. So these are our factors of 18. Select two factors in such a way that the number when you add, you should get this number. See, understand very clearly what I am telling you. First, make sure that this number is 9. Number is equal to, sorry, this number is 2. This is the first step. What you have to do? First, ensure that this number is 2. So, that is over. Second, what you have to do? Split this number, 18. 18 you have to split into two, fa fra two factors. The factors when you add, you should get this number 9. So what I am telling, 18 factors are what? 1 into 18 is 18. So 1 and 18 are factors. But 1 and 18 when you add, you will get 19. So this you cannot take. Second is 2 into 9. 2 9s are 18. So 2 plus 9, 11. We want 9. So, this I cannot take. Then 3 into 6 is equal to 18. So, 3 into 6, 18. 3 plus 6, 9. Yes, I can take this. 3 and 6 are the factors. 3 and 6 are the factors. So, what I can do? This 18, this 18, I will make as 6 and 3. This 18, I will make as 6 and 3. 18 in equal to 6 into 3 
and I am getting 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. So I have selected factors in such a way, I have selected the factors of 18 in such a way, when you add these two numbers, you should get 9. Understand very, very clearly this type of question. The first step, make sure this number is 2. Make sure this number is 2. What is the next step? Take the factors of these two, factors of this number and the two numbers when you add, you should get 9. So 6 plus 3, you are getting 9. So make sure this is 2 and take the factors 9. Now, the answer is here, the, take the first number, root 6. If this is plus, put plus, take root 3. So this is your final answer. So root 6 plus root 3, here you can see this is the correct answer. Root 6 plus root 3 is the correct answer from the given options. So these are the normal tricks we use when we go for competitive exams. So this type of questions, if you know the trick, then it is easy for you. And these are the questions where you can save a lot of time. So before going to the question, before going to the exam hall, solve, practice these type of questions. By looking at the question directly, you can write the answer. You need not to see these all things. Here it is 9, here it is 18, so 6 and 3. So write 6 and 3. Then if here it is plus, put plus and put both the answers in root. This is your final answer. So very, very important trick and very, very important question. And students who don't know this, this trick know, they will be leaving this question thinking that this is a tough question okay so understand this this concept very clearly and then practice kindly note it we'll go with more and more questions like this so one more question like that root 8 plus 2 root 15 is equal to what? So now again, 4 options are given, 4, four 5 options are given. The 5th option is always none of this. And what are the options given? Root 3 minus root 5, 5 plus root 3, 5 minus root 3 root 5 plus root 3. Now, by looking at the question directly, you can write the answer from the given options. Okay, you understood what's a trick. Here, this number is 8, this number is 15. First of all, we have to make sure this number is 2. Yes, this number is 2. Now, you can split this 15 in two fractions. So, 15 can be written as what? 15 can be written as 1 into 15 plus 1 into 15, you will not get 8. 1 into 15 is equal to 15. When you add these two numbers, you will not get 8. Next, you can say 5 into 3. 5 into 3 is 15. When you add 5 into 3, you are getting 8. So, you can split this 15 as 5 and 3. So, your answer will be 5 and 3. Here it is plus. So, answer also will be plus and put both the numbers in root. So, root 5 plus root 3. So this is the correct answer, root 5 plus root 3. So this type of questions will become very easy for you now once you practice with the, some more questions. Okay, so kindly note it. So next question, root of 14 plus 8 root 3. 14 plus 8 root 3 and options are given. Options are 8 minus root 6, root 6 plus 8, root 8 plus root 6 and 5 minus root 6. So these are the 5 options given. This number you have to find out is equal to what? So this question is little different from the previous question what we have done. 
okay here you have to ensure that this number is 2 then only we can apply our shortcut method understand very clearly this number we have to ensure that this number is 2 then only we can apply the shortcut method in the previous question you have already seen this number was 2 but here it is 8 so ensure that that number is 2 how to do that for for that we can write this question as root of 14 plus this 8 i can write 2 into 4 root 3 8 i can write 2 into 4 understand very clearly we want 2 here what is our first step ensure that this number is 2 but here in this particular question this number is not 2 it is 8 so we have to make it 2 to make it 2 i will split this number 2 like 2 into 4 okay so 2 into 4 8 now what i want i want this 14 here plus only 2 here this 4 will go inside 4 will go inside when see here you can say 4 root 3 when a number goes inside it will go as a power so what is 4 power here it will become 16 this 4 will go inside root inside a root as a power then only when it come outside it will be 4 so root 16 is equal to 4 so this 4 when it go inside the root the number 4 will become 16 so what is 3 into 16 root 48 so i can write here 2 will be here this 4 will go inside so it will become root 3 into 16 that means root of 14 plus 2 root 3 16s are 48 now the question is in the required form here we have number 2 so now you can apply the shortcut method what's the shortcut method we have to see we have to see the factors of 48 the two numbers when you add you should get 14 so i can take it as 8 and 6 8 plus 6 14 8 into 6 48 so write the answer 8 and 6 here it is plus so answer also will be plus and put root in both the numbers so root 8 plus root 6 will be the answer so from here the given option i can mark root 8 plus root 6 as the correct answer so one of the very important thing you have to remember here is whenever you see the question ensure that this number is 2 here it is 8 so directly you cannot apply the trick here make sure this number is 2 split the given number in such a way that we will get 2 in every question this number will be a even number then only we can split it so accordingly questions are set so there is no question of a odd number here what will come if 7 comes here what will come if 11 comes here generally even numbers only will come odd numbers will not come in your exam questions if you take a previous year question papers you will always get a even number why because then only we can split this into this fashion okay so there is no question why what will happen when a odd number comes there no normally generally it comes only a even number so kindly note it